What do you think will happen if lakes worldwide start drying up? What mysterious things, creatures, or artifacts are we bound to discover? Is there anything more to see beneath? In today's video, we'll answer that and tell you more about this bizarre phenomenon. The phrase, up a river without a paddle, refers to a difficult circumstance that you simply cannot escape. However, this phrase isn't going to mean anything if there are no rivers to paddle up. From dead bodies being discovered after 20 years to biblical evidence that might tell us when is the end of the world, experts were able to discover so much more after lakes around the world start to dry up. Researchers were initially confused by the alarming rate of water loss, but after further studies, they were able to pinpoint the cause. It turns out that rivers and lakes throughout the US, Europe, Asia, and the Middle East are drying up due to a terrible lack of rain and unrelenting heat waves. Many are getting smaller in length, width, and depth. Because of this, exposed riverbeds had become normal and at some point, some lakes were unrecognizable. However, on top of these maddening events, experts are discovering tons of hidden objects from these lakes. Let's explore them today. So, why are lakes drying up? There had been countless studies to address the issues, but at the end of the day, scientists would point their fingers at one perpetrator or another. According to scientists, the lack of precipitation and droughts is causing water bodies across North America to dry up. Additionally, scientists told ABC News that while rivers, lakes, and reservoirs in the United States and the rest of North America continue to see declining water levels, and similar events are being witnessed globally because of climate change and ineffective water management practices. While these events are concerning enough, there are more discoveries that alarmed experts both for good and bad reasons. For instance, the discovery made in Lake Mead is nothing short of shocking. The water levels at Lake Mead for years. And now those water levels have dropped to the lowest level in Lake The largest reservoir in the nation has reached an all-time low due to prolonged droughts, and those in charge of water planning say water consumers in the region need to radically change how they think about their most precious resource. Some experts even mention the possibility of a total loss of water resources. According to the Bureau of Reclamation, Lake Mead is the largest artificial reservoir in the United States and provides water to California, Nevada, and Arizona. Because of the continuous decrease in water supply, officials want the water level to be raised considerably, over 1,075 feet above sea level. Sadly, if it stays below that elevation by the end of the year, Arizona, Nevada, and Mexico are required by the treaty to reduce their water allotments, which will greatly affect the lives of many residents in the area. Getting back to the terrifying things that were discovered on this lake, something, or specifically someone, was found. Twenty years after he went missing in the lake, resident Tina Bushman heard that the remains of her father, Thomas Ernt, had been discovered. This is extremely out of the ordinary. While most people will find themselves coffee makers, boat debris, or a watch, a dead body is definitely not on the list. If you think this is bad enough, then think again. What has made headlines lately are some more horrifying findings. This was after the remains of five people were found in dried up lake beds between May and August of 2022. The National Park Service reported that earlier in the same month, a diver discovered additional human remains in the lake. Next up, we have the Paluxy River. New dinosaur tracks were discovered in Glen Rose. Weeks of intense heat have dried up the Paluxy River at Dinosaur Valley State Park in Glen Rose, Texas, exposing sets of dinosaur footprints that, according to researchers, are 113 million years old. According to Stephanie Garcia, a park spokesperson, some were from an animal known as Acrocanthosaurus, a three-toed bipedal carnivore that resembled a somewhat smaller Tyrannosaurus rex. It would have grown to be roughly 15 feet tall and 7 tons in weight if it survived. This was not the last discovery made. Another set of footprints was identified and said to be from the Sarah Poseidon, a four-legged long-necked ruminant that was roughly 44 tons in weight and reached a towering 60 feet tall. Even though dinosaur tracks aren't extremely uncommon, they are significant to researchers because they reveal information about the creature's lifestyles. It's surely a field day for researchers, especially after pictures of the footprint circulated. You can clearly see the size, shape, and direction where these dinosaurs from the past were headed before they were gone forever. The water in the Yangtze River in China is also flowing very low. Water levels began to decline in August 2022 due to the biggest drought China experienced. 
In reality, rainfall in the Yangtze River Basin was actually 45% lower than it was in July, which made the situation worse. However, there was some sort of a silver lining from the phenomenon. After three Buddhist statues that are about 600 years old were discovered on the Foi Liang Island, which was previously submerged due to the higher water levels. The figures, which are located on the island's tallest reef, are believed to have been constructed between the Ming and Qing eras around 655 years ago. Experts expected to discover more relics as 66 rivers in the area had dried up, but so far no additional relics had garnered media attention. But one of the most disturbing discoveries from all these is the one from the Euphrates. Known as one of the world's oldest and most significant rivers, this alarming low water level in the Euphrates is causing an uproar, not to mention its historical value. Western Asia is traversed by the Euphrates River, but it's becoming less active and lowering water levels have been an issue for the river in the past. But why? Although it originates in Turkey, the Euphrates River travels through Syria and Iraq. Prior to flowing into the Persian Gulf, the river joins the Tigris. Its length is around 1,700 miles and the average area of the basin is 190,000 square miles, making it one of the longest rivers in Western Asia. Since there is greater rainfall and melting runoff through the months of April to May, there is usually a higher water level this time of year. But things had been very different recently. While there is still some of the original vegetation along the river, the existence of other flora and trees along its shoreline is not enough to combat the inevitable. Why is that? Low rainfall is the main cause of the Euphrates River drying up. As a result, Iraq is currently experiencing its worst drought in history. Iraq and the surrounding region experienced droughts in addition to climate change and rising temperatures. This issue has existed for years. Experts also explained that there is a severe water shortage in many river-dependent areas in Iraq. But as the Euphrates began to dry up, archaeologists found some very intriguing and unique items lying on its bed. For example, a 3,400-year-old city, a castle from antiquity, and ominous caves were discovered just recently. Some people have even believed that these caves served as prisons but this is all assumption. Although this is again speculation, religious leaders have used passages from the Book of Revelation as evidence that the end times are near. In case you do not know, the Long Euphrates River represents the end of the world to some people. This is because the Euphrates River has a special place in the Christian Bible and served as a clue that the end times are approaching when this river dries up. Some claim that the Garden of Eden was situated somewhere in the region between the Euphrates and the Tigris and what will happen when the world ends are predicted by this. Adding all these biblical assumptions, the people who live close to the river and depend on it for water and agriculture are in distress. As climate change continues to intensify, more rivers and lakes around the world will surely dry up. If this continues, not only the people around the Euphrates will be affected, but the entirety of the world's population. It's a no-brainer that the future of these waterbeds solely depends on us. And as the drought persists, we should get ready. Who knows what else we can find in the deep surface of our waters? What do you think about these discoveries? Let us know in the comments below. Also, make sure to like and subscribe for more.